Hi, IASvideos.com is presenting you simplified daily current affairs analysis. Climate change. COP24 fails to adopt key scientific report. What does IPCC report point out? Why there is so much concern between 1.5 degree C and 2 degree C? What could be done to restrict global temperature under 1.5 degree C? How much will it cost us to restrict under 1.5 degree C? What happens if we don't act? GS Paper 3 Conservation Environmental Impact Assessment In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from bbc.com dated December 10, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. Next about. Attempts to incorporate a key scientific study into global climate talks in Poland have failed. The IPCC report on the impacts of a temperature rise of 1.5 C had a significant impact when it was launched last October. Scientists and many delegates in Poland were shocked as the US, Saudi Arabia, Russia and Kuwait objected to this meeting welcoming the report. It was the 2015 climate conference that had commissioned the landmark study. What does IPCC report point out? The report said that the world is now completely off track, heading more towards 3C this century rather than 1.5C. IPCC provides details on how the global response to climate change needs to be strengthened within the broader context of sustainable development and continuing efforts to eradicate poverty. The impacts of 1.5 degrees C of warming and the possible development pathways by which the world could get there are its main focus. With the increase in extreme events and the very survival of small islands at stake, the lower limit was greeted then with surprise and enthusiasm. Why there is so much concern about 1.5 degree C and 2 degree C? For most people, the difference between 1.5 degree C and 2 degree C may seem trivial when daily temperatures fluctuate much more widely. However, the reference here is to global average temperatures. Different regions of the Earth will warm at different rates. For instance, the Arctic is already experiencing warming that is many times higher than the global average. As per those reports, if the temperature goes beyond 2 degrees C, then the impacts of climate change could be irreversible and catastrophic. Mainly, small island nations and least developed nations are likely to suffer the most and hence, they asked for gold to restrict the temperature rise to even within 1.5 degree C. What could be done to restrict global temperature under 1.5 degree C? Five steps to 1.5 are Global emissions of CO2 need to decline by 45% from 2010 levels by 2030. Renewables are estimated to provide up to 85% of global electricity by 2050. Coal is expected to reduce to close to zero. Up to 7 million square kilometers of land will be needed for energy crops. Global net zero emissions by 2050. How much will it cost us to restrict under 1.5 degree C? It won't come cheap. The report says to limit warming to 1.5 C will involve annual average investment needs in the energy system of around $2.4 trillion between 2016 and 2035. Experts believe this number needs to be put in context. The report also talks about the benefits as there is higher economic growth at 1.5 degrees than there is at 2 C and you don't have the higher risk of catastrophic impacts at 1.5 that you do at 2. What happens if you do not act? 
the researchers say that if we fail to keep the temperature rises below 1.5 C, we are in for some significant and dangerous changes to our world. You can kiss coral reefs goodbye. As the report says, they would be essentially 100% wiped out at 2 degrees of warming. Global sea level will rise about 10 centimeters more if you let warming go to 2 C. That may not sound like much, but keeping to 1.5 C means that 10 million fewer people would be exposed to the risks of flooding. There are also significant impacts in ocean temperatures and acidity and the ability to grow crops such as rice, maize and wheat.